If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. I don't think that I set the bar. I think that when we, when, when you go back and look at it, you see guys like Jack Del Rio, who got one year as a defensive coordinator, and Mike Tomlin, one year as a defensive coordinator. But he had never been. It doesn't a matter. It doesn't matter. The point is, so I got him one year before somebody else would have gotten him if he would have become a coordinator. That's what my point is. I don't think that it's fair to take credit because I think we were one year away from maybe John being that guy a year later than everybody saw. So, and then of course Dan did it with with Zorn and uh, and. And right. they did it, so it was kind of happening simultaneously. So I don't really know that that, that it, it is almost a general trend. But a guy like Mike Tomlin, who really nobody knew, and I don't know half the no, NFL true. knew right. that he was a coordinator for one year. Um, you know, he was the kind of the to me the the guy that said, you know, the Rooneys have done this a couple times with Cowher and uh, and and Tomlin. So I think the Rooneys probably deserve more credit. And, and I kind of looked at that because he had come in the year before. So you know, why do you think you asked her? Earlier, why do you think this is going on now? I mean, where that was an aberration before, now it is a trend. I mean, now people are taking leave. Well, Thirty-two-year-old guys who, yeah. you know, have had no. Yeah. Lane Griffin, and now Josh McDaniels. Yeah, and, and Raheem down in Tampa Bay. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't know, but I think that maybe, you know, the, the, the trend is that, uh, uh, you know, the old dog's new tricks kind of thing. You know, maybe there's a, a sense with ownership that the guys with the, with the uh, you know, big resumes behind them don't necessarily know anymore just because they've been through it before, you know. Guys like John who have worked for Andy Reid for 10 years basically know every thought in Andy Reid's mind. Right. I don't know that that, that, uh, that Andy Reid could have done a better job than, than John did with this team. Well, was that part of your thinking as well with John? I mean, um, let's, let's, get, let's try something new. Let's try something different. It was, it was just, yeah, it was, the, it, was, uh, it was meeting him and getting to know him. And, uh, and yeah, I just, uh, uh, I think it, some people consider it taking a chance, but relatively speaking, I, 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 I don't, I didn't, didn't consider, consider that big of a chance. Correct. Well, and, and why is that? Just because of the person he is? Because no, I think it's my person. I think it's my personality, and I think it's my background. Uh, um, you know, with Aerotech, I think that we, uh, you know, we built one of the largest companies in the industry, and we didn't go out and hire our competitors, seasoned vets. You know, we always brought kids right from college and trained them, and felt that uh, uh, working with them and teaching them from the ground up made them great. And now my company is run by a bunch of, you know, forty-some-year-old uh, uh, people that I hired at twenty-two. Right. You know, back in the early and mid '80s, they're all running up my company now. So Was I had any, some nice experience. Anything he said or anything. I mean, that's, that's a uh, yeah, I can say that. Okay, and, and, and lastly, though, you, don't, you just don't consider, though, going, you know, after a special teams coach, you realize you had been a secondary coach for one year, but special teams coaches being hired. I think coaches, it's extraordinary. Franz Gaines got a chance in Kansas City, but he's the exception, he's not the rule. To do something like that, you don't consider that a gamble? Um, I, no, I think leadership is a need. I think that you are either born to be a leader or you're not. And I saw leadership's qualities in him, coupled with coupled with that little chip on your shoulder, the desire to succeed, the question of whether you'll ever get the chance, and uh, and I like that combination. And do you think because of the success he's had and you had, that it's opened the door for people? Like that? Uh, that yeah, more possible for people. Uh, well, I think people look at a Josh McDaniels and say, you know what, he can do it. I think it answers some questions. So I think that it minimizes that fear factor with some other owners that may have never thought to go in that direction before. Steve, I appreciate it. Thank yeah, you very much. You. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.